once you receive your Gunbox Echo, there are three ways to open and access your Gunbox. The first way I want to go over um, is using RFID. So I'm going to set my phone aside. For right now, I'm not going to worry about the fingerprint. We're going to worry about RFID. The RFID reader is right in this area of the device. It's protected with the outer shell, but it's also uh, concentrated in this area. To get the best read to quickly open, you have to place your RFID tag, which is an RFID fob or an RFID card that comes in the box. We also sell RFID stickers, RFID rings. These four RFID mechanisms were pre-programmed to match this box. I'm going to show you how to open and use RFID. I'm also going to show you how to program a new RFID device in this video. First, press the button. For a few seconds, the light will start to blink. Within that short time frame, if you wave any fob that's come in the package over that device, it will open up. So you see it opened up. Try it with the other device. Press, wave, it opens up. Press. So you can see that these devices were programmed for this box. I'm now going to show you how to program a new device. We also have an RFID bracelet, and I have an RFID ring. So taking a master device, which is a key that's already programmed in the device, I can use this key to program another device. The way you do that is press the button, wave a key, and press again quickly. It starts to blink rapidly, and then I take a new device and wave over the top. You saw a triple beep, or a, a triple blink. That triple blink just programmed this device as well. So not only do I have these four devices programmed, I also have programmed my bracelet. So let me use the bracelet to show. So this part of the bracelet just opened up the box. Let's say I, I purchase a ring and I want to use a ring with this gun box, other gun boxes, maybe one of the padlocks we sell. It's easy, it's easy to program this ring. It's a unique ring that belongs to me that I can program it in the box as well. Press. Wave the master, press again. Now I take my ring and program. You may, it may have been hard in the video, but there was a quick triple blink. It means this ring was accepted into the box. Now I can use this ring to open up the RFID. So that's how you program a new RFID device using the box. There's another way to do this with the app. I will explain that when we do the app. 